Hello everyone, this is Curtis Pike and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you the Ken's Burns effect. Now the Ken Burns effect is very often used with still photos and it gives a little bit of motion and a little bit of uh, a depth to a still photo, but it can also be used in video. So I've gone ahead and selected a very simple free footage, uh, free stock footage. It's some purple flowers and it looks like it has a moth or something like that land on one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So first things first, you want to click on the clip. Then you want to go to the effect controls panel, go to motion. And now I've already pre-selected them, but um, you want to click on both position and scale stopwatches or toggles. So position, scale. Now let's go to somewhere in the scene where we want, say, this effect to stop. So let's say when this moth is is leaving okay so okay so the moth is leaving so right there we want to be zoomed in on the moth now you can go ahead and increase the scale so the moth's getting bigger we're gonna increase change the position so it's in the I don't know let's say it's in the top right we're gonna drop it down a bit to right about there and that's maybe where we want the shot to end so we're gonna go back and you know just so you guys know, Adobe Premiere Pro, once you click the button, uh, the toggle switches, pardon me, and you move the playhead, Premiere Pro is smart enough to know to create the keyframes as we go. So as you can see here, uh, we've got a moving motion. So let's get it going. Ready? Let's take a quick run through. All right, hold on. Hit play. It's a little rough because it's going out of, it's coming out of the RAM. But uh, you can generally see what's going on. You'll see that we're moving in, moving off. Yeah, there we go. So let's try again without um, without uh, all the RAM issues there. Here we go. So we've got some zoom in. We're changing position. As you can see, these numbers uh, rendering on the fly here. And the scale keeps going in. The moth's kind of going to the right top right corner. And presto. That's all it takes to make a Ken's Burn uh, Zoom. And uh, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll be back soon.